Welcome back! I'm excited for where this game is going, I'm really enjoying it so far. A pond's formed in the field as if a crater had opened up. The weather report says it'll rain all week. Oh, just like here. I can't get used to the rainy season at all. Me too. I dislike rainy season. Oh, my volume's a little loud, let me turn it down a bit. Alright, have you all read this before? Read what? In Japanese history, Miss Yamashiro shows us a copy of Spring Magazine. This magazine's been getting popular. Oh, now it's too loud. Oh, I hate the volume. There's a column about Mihata Town in this week's edition. Really? That's a nationwide magazine, isn't it? I can't believe Mihata Town's getting national attention. That's how I feel anytime anything happens in Matsue. Oh my god, people know about our tiny town. It's part of a series called Searching Japan. I think it's mostly coincidence that Mihata Town got picked, but... She passes the magazine to the column of seats in front of her. Kensuke snatches it. Let me see. Hey! Hmm. A village surrounded. Shrouded, I was going to say surrounded. Shrouded in mysterious traditions. Mihate Town. Taking the otherworldly stairs to the Yomi world. Seriously, if this is not based on Matsue, there's a lot of coincidences then. I found it to be a very intriguing article. I was impressed by how deeply they researched the town. Ooh. If Kaorin's impressed, it must be really remarkable. It's a good opportunity to review this town's history. I'll leave it on the shelf in the back, so please read it. I'd love to. Lei Nikaido, the triple threat. National Idol reveals her dirty little secrets. <laughs> Miss Yamashiro, Asagi's reading something off topic. Oh no, we got a dobber. Class is dismissed. Midterms are next week, so be sure to study up. I absolutely will not. Anyway, I'd like you all to read that article. Getting the volume just right is proving extremely difficult. Cool, there's a photo of Mihate Town on the front page too. Guess this town's getting famous. I absolutely could not hear her at all now. Wow. Oh, the history of eagle hunting. The eternal sacred land. Alright, maybe there. They've nicely summarized the legends and traditions of this town. I can tell they've done extensive research. The ancient village of Mihate Town, where many legends lie dormant. The beautiful crimson of the fall. Hmm... Sounds like Fatal Frame. The single screen movie theater sets the mood in this town. Uh, I wish someone would invite me to see a movie there. I mean, if you want. <laughs> my me, if I may. <laughs> no. If Miss Yamashiro recommends it, then perhaps I'll purchase a couple myself. One to read and one to keep. Are you sure about that? There's an article about Kamishiro Do too. What are you talking about? There's no way our company would be in a gossip magazine like that. No, look, right here. Kensuke turns the pages rapidly. He points to the article about Lei Nikaido. Let me see. Saya takes the magazine and skims through the article. Asagi, could you please pay more attention to the articles about Mihate Town? I mean, if they're talking about the idol, then isn't that by default also talking about the town, seeing as she's come here to film a movie? Well, it has to do with Kamishiro Do, so it's not totally unrelated to Mihata Town, right? See? That's just what I said. I read it, but I don't see anything about Kamishiro Do. Well, there you go. Fine. It's right here. Her close ties to the sponsor created rumors about her relationship with the CEO's son. Ooh, gossip. 
That's obviously talking about the Kamishiro Do, and this definitely refers to your brother, doesn't it? Nante koto! How dare you! Ah, I guess it's to be expected. After all, the Kamishiro dolls used Nikare for commercials since she was a newbie. Plus, everyone knows that your brother Mibu's quick to get down and dirty with women, right? Oh! What? Oh, I almost forgot. Your dad got remarried after some scandal with a woman, right? Like father likes a... Oh, he, he is asking for it. Hattori! <laughs> ha! Whoa, 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 where'd this geezer come from? Oh, my arm, my arm's gonna snap. <laughs> Enough. Enough. Oh. Did he just like ninja in and ninja out? He disappeared. Listen carefully. I always have someone at my disposal. I advise you refrain from careless remarks. You tell him. <laughs> Do you hire ninjas or something? Hey, wipe that smirk off your face and say something. That was funny. <laughs> Indeed, that was funny. It wasn't funny. No, it was. All right. Enough chatter. I'm going back to the teacher's office. Miu, please make sure to lock up afterward. All right. Karimashita. Understood. She turns on her way out the door. Soda. And also... You guys don't need to worry too much about Oshima. She just happened to be the ones to find her bag. You just happened to be the ones to find her bag. Nothing more. See ya. Bye. She says that, but the cop kept treating us like criminals. That's right, the cop! I want to see the cop again. She said her job is to be skeptical. That's not our fault. I'm still shocked. It's freaking me out that a student from our school would be involved in a murder. You're actually pretty naive, Mikes. Oh, I remembered I checked the the video after I recorded the last one and I saw what he was calling her and then I've instantly forgotten it again. Anyway, I'm falling for you all over again. Kensuke. <laughs> Why don't you go missing for once? Oh. Owned. Are you okay, Saya? Watakushi? Me? Please. Don't concern yourself with me. <laughs> I don't have friends in this school for me to worry about. Oh, okay. It's a bit harsh, but I'll take it. <laughs> Sounds like you don't have any friends. Oh, ba 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 ba. What was that, Asagi? Nandemone! Nothing! I didn't say anything! Don't call that ninja on me again. Um... What's wrong, Miu? I have work, so I gotta go. Can I leave the key to this room with you, Maimi? Oh, is it that time already? Sure, I'll handle it. I might stop by the cafe later. Okay, see ya. You seem to get along with her, Maimi. What's that supposed to mean? Amana, I mean, I've never heard her talk like that. What? She she talks like that? What? Huh? Oh, you mean Miu? Really? I think that's normal. Same. Same. What's special about that? That's, that's how she speaks. It's definitely not normal. Whenever I talk to her, she basically ignores me. I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason for that. Naruhodo? That's a good idea, actually. I'll just do what Miu does and ignore you from now on. <laughs> I love her. She's my favorite. You're kidding, right? Maimi, hey, you're not gonna ignore me, are you? It is the correct decision. <laughs> I can't hear you. With Kensuke and Maimi's back and forth going on, I read the article. I find a photo looking down on the town. I find a familiar name at the end of the article. Oh, is it the, the, the lady that I met on the train? Written by Yukino Otonashi. Otonashi, no sound. She got it published. 
That's right. I was wondering when she was going to come back. Hey, are you still studying hard for the midterms? Absolutely not. Oh, morning, Kensuke. Nah, I couldn't get into it. See? Really? You better not be the type who can get an A without ever studying. I hate people like that. Hey, that was me. <laughs> That's not me. What about you, Kensuke? Me? I basically stayed up all night working on my papers. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Huh, so you do take school seriously. Don't get me wrong, new guy. Do I look like the kind of guy who stays up all night studying for some test? Absolutely not. So, what are you bragging about? Ta-da! Behold! Look at this. Kensuke pulls a book out of his bag. There are sheaves of sticky notes in between the pages. Hey, that's Miss Yamashiro's world end. Oh, oh, I've compiled a list of all the possible filming locations they might use in the World End movie. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Zizi Pandas going into hiatus after their June concert. Of course, this is so Nikare can focus on the filming. And it's rumored that Nikare will arrive in Mihate Town as early as this week. I've exhausted my info network. Alright. And by network, you mean Saya Kamishiro? <laughs> I read the entire book and listed all the scenes. Then I imagined if I was directing where I'd film each scene. Uh, makes sense. Huh. Anyway, look over here. <laughs> I used all my senses to create this map of where I predict each scene would be filmed. I went without a wink of sleep. So you didn't study for the exam. You don't get it, new guy. Tests will come and go, but Nikare only comes one time. Just like adolescence, you know? No. Uh-huh, sure. And so, I'll have you follow me to the locations on this special map. So as to maximize our odds of running into her. Oh, Alright, whatever. When I'm free. Oh. Amana is walking down towards us, looking slightly downward. Good morning, Amana. Ohayo. Ohayo. Good morning. Have you been studying for the midterms? Huh? I bet you take school seriously. Kensuke, on the other hand, has been too busy with idle stuff. <laughs> and I have no regrets. See you later. Alright, bye. That was a lovely conversation. Thank you. Hey, I didn't know you could talk to Amana. No, let me rephrase that. You can see Amana. Nani? She's not a ghost. She's our classmate. We're in the same club. It's a normal thing to talk to her. I'm saying she pretty much ignores me completely, so she's hard to understand. How can she possibly be a club leader? I mean, you're not a part of this club. And it makes perfect sense that she would ignore you. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't think there's any point in mentioning that he's not even a member of the club. See? He follows up all my same thoughts. We're like vaguely on the same wavelength. Alright, Monday. You all have your printouts? Alright, begin. Our final test is English. Hey, I'm great at that. Since I hadn't studied, I'm faced with one difficult question after another. I look out the window in resignation. Along with the cries of the cicadas, I hear a car getting closer. A red sports car appears by the school gate. That's Detective Ryuzaki's car. Oh, she's back. Why is she here? I wonder if there was some progress in the case of Mako Oshima's disappearance. Ooh. I start to have a bad feeling. Indeed. I look around the classroom and stop at the seat in the very back on the hallway side. Miu Amina. Amana is sitting there quietly, not writing on her answer sheet. Her arms are resting in her lap silently. Did Amana give up too? She's probably finished, bro. Nani? We make eye contact and I thump my desk with my knee in a jolt. Well done. Something wrong? Oh no, sorry. What's up? Did you try to cheat off someone's paper and lose your balance? 
You have to do it like this. Nobody asked Asagi. <laughs> Miss Yamashiro, Asagi's trying to copy my answers. Tying to copy my answers. <laughs> hey, is that the first typo I've seen in this game yet? I feel like I might have seen one more. It's certainly less than root letter, but it's still funny. Shizukani. Quiet. The classroom door opens. Another teacher bows, enters the room, and walks up to Miss Yamashiro to whisper in her ear. The principal's office? Got it. Can you watch my class for a minute then? Ah, uh, class, settle down please. I'll be gone for a short moment, but please continue your test quietly. No worries. Miss Yamashiro leaves the classroom. I have a bad feeling about this. You already said that. I look at Amana again out of reflex. Amana is sitting there silently with her eyes closed. <laughs> Answer the phone, I'm taking a bath. Oh, that can't end well. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Good evening. It's me, Miu Amana. Eh? Oh, Amana, hello. Oh, yeah. I shiver in reaction to hearing Miu's voice tickling my ear through the phone and feel a stab of shame. That's a sentence that I just said. Sorry for calling you so late. Can you talk right now? Uh, sure. Sure, we can talk. The student that bag belongs to was found dead. She was found washed up on the beach this morning. Okay. Wah? Judging from her wounds, they said she must have fallen off a high cliff, then drifted down the river from there. All right. Who told you this? Miss Yamashiro said she heard it from the police, but she wanted the club to hear, hear about it before the announcement. Okay. Why would she tell the club? That is a good question. Don't know. Maybe she's concerned for us because we found the bag. All right. The image of the waterlogged bag appears in my mind. Please tell Maimi too. Will do. Oh yeah, of course. Bye. Oh, Amana. What? <laughs> I've said everything I had to say. She's very curt. Um, thanks for calling. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> A student at Mihate High School died. Someone who would have joined our club in the second semester. That is indeed dramatic. And then, Miu Amana's voice remains in my ear. With so many mixed feelings, my restlessness sees no end. Whew. Alright, oh, okay, well that was quick. The next day, a school gathering is held in the morning. The principal announces the death of one of the students. He says that though the police are still investigating, it's likely to have been a slip and fall accident. He continues to make some obligatory remarks about the sanctity of life and other similar things. They say it's an accident, but the police are still investigating, right? What if it was a homicide? Wasn't she just dumped by a guy in the same grade? I heard she was really sad about it. Maybe it was suicide. Ooh. The guy she got dumped by is my friend's junior. I heard she was seen walking around with some adult too. Ooh, gossip. The students are standing around, swapping rumors as if none of as if this is none of their concern. The students are dismissed for the rest of the afternoon, so I decide to stop by the club room. Huh? You came too? Why wouldn't I? Mimi, you're here too, Saya. Since I heard Miss Yamashiro will be arriving later as well, I thought I'd come to make note of the situation. I see. We're all here for the same reason. But, more importantly, if my eyes aren't deceiving me, I think I see a creepy shadow behind you. Let me guess. Asagi. Huh? Really? I don't see anything. I guess it's just me then. Will you close the door? Am I a ghost to you? A guardian spirit? Don't treat me like a dead person. Is this? Are we going to get a reveal at some point that someone is actually dead? Because that'd be cool. Oh no, I think I've finally gone mad, Lady Maimi. 
。It's a Yomi Bito. <laughs> the dreaded resurrected Yomi Bito. Knock it off! You're a terrible actress. Well, I was only kidding. This is the 100th year since the Yomi Bito came back, right? All these deaths are creepy. Some of the students are saying they're the work of the Yomi Bito. I'm sure they're just playing around, though. A hundred years ago, a Yomi Bito appeared in Mihata Town and brought misfortune with it. Maybe it's me. I'm the Yomi Bito. Yeah. I think I've heard that story. The one where the Kamishiro family killed it. Now they think they're heroes, right? How rude. The town does have documents saying the Kamishiro family slayed a Yomi Bito a century ago. They're in the library. My family's personal archive also has documentation supporting that claim. You have a personal archive. I suppose you're not familiar with it yet, since you've only just arrived. Oh yeah, give me the law. One hundred years ago, a devastating incident occurred in this town. It is now known as the Yomibito incident. Yes, we've heard that so far. Here we go again, brag, brag, brag. When a Yomibito comes back, it is said that it brings misfortune. Yes, we've heard that. A century ago, the Yomibito massacred people. Oh! The noble families that governed the town searched for the Yomibito, but could not tell who it was. They say that it's difficult to tell the difference between a living person and the resurrected Yomibito. Oh, nice! That's I love these types of stories. It's just like another. After many twists and turns, the Yomibito was finally slain by one of the noble families, the Kamishiro family. Ho ho! <laughs> See, she even called them noble in her own story. One of the noble families. Come on, Saya. There's part of this story you're leaving out, isn't there? <laughs> Everything else is redundant. There was another noble family looking for the Yomibito, but instead of killing it, they were trying to hide it. Ooh, the drama! Ho ho ho, the drama! Do you know why? Because it was a member of their family. No. Ha, called it. Because the Yomibito was the eldest son and heir to that family who had died the previous year. Wait, so if they knew who the Yomibito was... How come nobody else knew who it was? If, like, aren't they just looking for their own son at that point? How hard can it be to find your own son? They tried to protect their son who had come back as a Yomibito. So this. But in the end, they couldn't keep him hidden and he was put down. Oh, that, that, that's a way of phrasing it. So who's this other noble family? It was. It's my family, isn't it? Drop it. Well, new guy, it might be for the best that you don't know. Don't worry, I've already called it. Why's that? Because the other noble family, the one who tried, who tried to protect the Yomibito, was... The door to the club room opens, and we all turn around at the same time. Oh, was it the Amana family? Hey, Miyu, you're late. That would make more sense. Amana. Amana, Amana, Amana. I brought Miss Yamashiro. What? Why? Can she not walk by herself? Sorry to cause you all so much trouble. I was shocked because it was a student I had been familiar with. Oh. I'm sorry. She was badly wounded, so the cause of death's being investigated. The police still believe it was accidental. Alright. An accident. So that's the second one. She's the girl you were trying to recruit into the club, right? The silence that fills the room is painful. If nothing had happened, we'd all be laughing together in this room right now. That's debatable. Life is such an indescribable thing. I don't know how to digest the notion of death.
Death is closer to us than we think. Oh, indeed. One of these people is the Yomibito. But which? Everyone looks at me at once. It's me, isn't it? This is a good opportunity. Please continue. Throughout our lives, death is always close to us, but we don't notice. Rather, we act like we don't notice. You. Yes, me. I came to this realization recently, at the end of last year, when my sister died. I thought you were an only child, since you're so easygoing. What? That doesn't make sense. She was like the sun to me. I loved her. But life can disappear so easily, so instantly. Now this is getting a bit deep. It was a car accident. Did you know about this, Maimi? He told me the other day. He was in the passenger seat. Ah, oh, that's right. Well, he was talking about he killed her with his own two hands or whatever. I couldn't even say goodbye to her. I had so much to tell her. So much. So much. Naruhodone. I wanted to escape my sister's death, but the truth ne never changes. No matter where I go, there's no escaping it. Is that why you came to this town? Life is cruel. Yes, it is. Life is hard, obviously. Only people like you who think life should be easy try to escape when they feel that pain. Oh, she's gone for the kill. Why don't you accept it? Okay, sure. <laughs> That's enough. I think we've had a nice discussion. You have a different definition of nice discussion than we do. We must all face death when confronted with it. Okay, but what if I died in the accident as well and I'm the Yomibito? I must be leaving. I have a car waiting outside. Let's call it a day. I hope to see you all well tomorrow. Sure. Saya leaves the room and Maimi follows. I'll see you all tomorrow. Only Kensuke and I are left in the room. I didn't see that coming. Sorry, I didn't mean to hide it or anything. Ah, you're fine. But, <laughs> but I didn't think that Amana was capable of saying that many words at once. Alright, Tuesday. July 16th was that? Wow, that's pretty. I love it. The heroine encounters her crush, who had revived as a Yomibito on the seafront. I want to read this book. Where's this book? I want to read it. She tries to confess her love to him, but the Yomibito doesn't remember her. Ah, Setsunai. <laughs> That's so romantic, right? Can you believe that Kaolin wrote all this? With all that's happened, you're so carefree, Kensuke. What's the point of letting it get you down? We're alive, so we have to enjoy it. That's actually some really good advice. Well, maybe you're right, but... I've always thought you were pretty dark. Indeed. But I guess you've got your reasons for it, huh? Yes, apparently my sister died. Dark? Why did you talk to me in the first place, then? At first, I thought maybe you were just being shy, so I gave you a chance. I'm a pretty considerate guy. That's debatable. And hopefully, it'd get me closer to the Mystery Club. So you're just admitting that you're entirely using me. Thanks, bro. And the truth comes out. <laughs> Don't be like that. It was a win-win for both of us, right? I didn't make any mistakes here. Oh, look at the time. I'm gonna go check out another spot where Nikare might show up. You wanna come? I'm good. I'm going home. Alright, hey, I'll tell you what. You know Ocean Cafe down on the seafront? Um, is that the cafe I see in the background there? That one? Next time you get lunch there, just put down the menu and say you want the regular's lunch. Okay. Regular's lunch? Is that some kind of hidden menu? Bingo! It started out as food they made for the staff, but now it's an elusive meal known only to gourmets here. It's not elusive if you can just order it. 
<laughs> Work with me, new guy. Access to secret menus is a system that lets you feel superior to those less informed. Don't think about it too hard, just order it and enjoy. You might even see the chefs eating the same thing inside. Alright, if you say so. How enticing. Wow, it's getting late. I'm gonna scope out the Kamishiro Hotel. Nikade might be heading back there after filming. See you tomorrow. Alright, bye. Kesuke wipes the dust off his pants and walks away along the boardwalk. Oh, look at the beach. It's beautiful, I love it. I gaze out into the ocean. The sun slowly approaches the horizon. Faced with the immensity of the body of water, I'm reminded of my own powerlessness. That's deep, bro. In the past, this scenery would pull me away from the realities of the world. But not now. My powerlessness is a representation of nature. Dude. Unlike Kensuke, I don't have the personality to enjoy life. <laughs> My sister's death took away all meaning to it. Oh. Ooh, a movie. Tips, a kite. Is it pronounced kite? Even though kites and hawks share the same taxonomic family, they give very different impressions. There's an old saying that kites gave birth to hawks. Is that kite? I, like, my brain wants to read it in the Japanese way. Kite. Kite. I don't know what that is. A kite is flying high in the sky. What is that in Japanese? It elegantly rides the wind. Looks like it's found its prey. Is it me? Am I the prey? The sound of the waves is ever-present, but I also hear a noisy engine sound. I recognize that motor. A roaring car engine unsuited for the quiet life of Mihate Town. The car comes to a stop right in front of me. Pensively staring out over the ocean. Huh. Never took you for one of those emo types, kid. Is that the police officer? Yeah! Detective Nyuzaki. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you've got nothing to do, how about you go for a ride with me for a bit? Let's go. Immediately, right now. I'm sold. Oh, kakkoi! This car is incredible. Do all cops get to drive sports cars like this? Kakkoi, kakkoi! Don't be ridiculous, this is my own ride. <laughs> you think the government would pay for cars like this with taxpayer money? Indeed, they would not. Oh, sorry. Why is her mouth not moving? I think the incident is going to be regarded as an accident. Incident? Oh, you mean the girl from our school. Really? That would make for two consecutive accidents taking place at the river. But that might not be so unusual. This town is surrounded by nature, after all. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but I, for one, believe there's a connection between the two deaths. She just called me a smartass. Did you find some kind of evidence to support that? Oh, she's glaring at me. I might be into that. Are you an idiot? I told you the other day, that was... It was intuition. Intuition is intuition. No need for explanations. That makes perfect sense. Thank you. Ha. Huh. I thought you might be hiding something, so I looked into you a little. Oh, you just had to ask, ma'am. You just had to ask. What? You lost a family member in an accident last year, didn't you? I knew you were carrying something dark. Did you now? I killed her. That's what you think, right? You blame yourself for her death, don't you? Yes, that's what I said. You think you're being a hermit now or something. What do you mean? You're not exactly desperate, but you don't want to connect with the world because you can't go on with your life. She's seen right inside me. That's irresponsible. You're bad at playing the game. You want to pull the plug, but can't even do that yourself. Oh, she's just 
stab in all the weak spots. Why are you making all these game metaphors? <laughs> I'm hooked on fighting games these days. Yeah, look at my thumb. Check out that blister. What do you want from me? <laughs> I love her, she's my favorite. If you came here to try to run away from reality, you should just leave. You won't find any comfort here. Well, that's a bit harsh. This town is nothing more than a prison cell with an ocean view. A country town run by a few rich people. That's all. I've only been here for a month. You never know what might happen. <laughs> She's glaring at me again. <laughs> then cooperate with me. Yes. Huh? You're an outsider. A hermit like you's a criminal in the making. But you're also not part of the town's feuds. Criminal in the making? I take offense to that. Oh, pretty. I want to go for a drive in her sports car along the beach. Call this number if you hear any weird rumors or see any suspicious activity. Oh, we're in. We got her number. She hands me a business card. Is this your personal cell phone number? I've actually got a bad feeling about this. Take a shot every time they say I have a bad feeling. About what? The hundredth anniversary. I don't think all this is mere coincidence. Anyway, later, new kid. Get out. Did she just kick me out of her car? That's a bit rude. The red coupe drives away, engine roaring. I stand there alone as it drives off. Why would she drop me off here? Because that's where you started from? Why wouldn't she drop you off there? The sun's already set, and the area around me is dark. I love that house. It's gorgeous. The living room lights are on. It looks like Mimi's back home. As I approach the front door, I hear voices in conversation. I guess Mimi's invited a friend over. I'm home. Tadaima. <laughs> You're back, you runaway new guy. We're, we're cousins. What's that supposed to mean? Who else is here? Oh, did you notice? Oh man, don't be surprised, okay? Is it Amana? Ta-da! She opens the door to the living room. We have a door. <gasps> she brought me a waifu. Hey, new kid, how's it going? Very well now. Oh, Yuki no otonashi. Dun dun. Wa. Her smile strikes at my heart. I thought I'd never see it again. This is the best thing to come home to. I'm so glad you found this place. You said you didn't get his name or anything when you met him on the train. Wait, are they conspiring against me? How do they know each other? Yeah, I totally forgotten about it, but I did remember two key phrases. Transfer student and mansion. Are they friends? You're so sharp. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again, new kid. Right back at ya. Oh, we got a close up. My heart is still pounding. <gasps> da dung, da dung. Here's how Yukino's story goes. Wait, what? We're getting a summation? She took an extended vacation to visit this town again, but the cheap hotel she had used last time was fully booked. Hate it when that happens. So while she was wandering the town, she suddenly remembered me. Oh, thank you. I remember you telling me about a mansion on top of a hill, so I trusted my gut and headed here. I mean, okay. Then I ran into Maimi in her uniform. I asked her if she knew any new transfer students around here who seemed mopey. <laughs> Excuse you. I'm dark. My sister died. Oh! Look at these two. And it turns out that Yukino wrote the article for Spring Magazine. I got so excited. Oh, so they've literally just met then. Wow, this just gets weirder. She pulls out a copy of the magazine. <laughs> I got her autograph too. <laughs> nice. I still hadn't seen it in print myself, so I was really flattered. I signed it here. See? I just came up with it. 
<laughs> In other words, I'm your number one fan, right? Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> She's actually squealing. I aspire to be a non-fiction writer, so right now I'm learning the research skills necessary to do that. Hmm. I will support you in your future endeavors. I didn't expect this. I actually did. And you know what? Since Yukino has oh, <laughs> since Yukino has nowhere else to go, I'm gonna let her stay in this mansion. We're in. We're in. What? Nani? You think your freeloading mouth gets a say in this, huh? Don't forget, you came here after me too. Hey, I, I have literally no problem with this whatsoever. How are you BFFs already? So you got uncle's permission for this. <laughs> Who cares? It'll only be for a month. In any case, I haven't seen his face since I moved in a year ago. Oh. I'm so sorry. If you don't want me here, I'll find somewhere else to stay. No, 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 no. You, you, you stay right where you are. Oh, it's not like I don't want... Hey. Your attitude's completely changed towards Yukino. What's that all about? We did come to this town on the same train, after all. Yes, we did. So, what else do you plan to do, Yukino? There's not a lot to see around here. The last time I came here for research, I was intrigued by the town's local legends. Yes, let's get into that. There are so many places I haven't checked out yet, so I want to look around more. Maybe I'll write a guide. Hmm... Well, as long as you're keeping busy. The police are still investigating, so don't go anywhere dangerous, okay? I'll be okay, thanks, Maimi. Anyway, that's settled. Yukino, you can use the bedroom on the first floor. How many bedrooms are there? Just stay away from the room on the left. On the second floor, there's a hungry wolf in there. <laughs> That's my room. <laughs> Excuse me, you got into my bed. This guy almost assaulted me the very first day he got here. How did you possibly reach that idea? Also, we're related. We're cousins. Oh. Go for it. Do you mind if I keep some beer in the fridge? I thought I'll have it with dinner. You can have some too, Mimi. Hey, we're high school students. I'm not allowed to do that. Oh, 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 happy to oblige. Maybe after my bath. Do you ladies mind? <laughs> Don't do it, you get wasted eating a piece of candy. <laughs> Alright, we're having a welcome party here tonight, yeah. I'll hit the convenience store, do you need anything, Yukino? Beer. Can you get some snacks? Okay, I'll be right back. <gasps> She's leaving us alone. She won't ask me. You're not a part of this party. I was just kidding about taking a vacation. I actually have a purpose for being here. Ooh, the plot thickens. Huh? A purpose? Yukino, no Yukino nods, still smiling. A girl died in an accident in May, and just the other day, another girl was found dead. Something's bugging me. Bugging you? There's that legend saying that the Yomibito appears every hundred years. Could it just be a coincidence? I am so intrigued by this. I don't think so. I felt something when I set foot in this town. I feel like this town's hiding something. It definitely is. Do you feel anything? My heart pounding for you! Oh! Smooth. If I said I didn't, I'd be lying. Why are you talking to me about this? Because you and I are both outsiders. Oh! Something we have in common! Oh! This is probably something that's only happening here in this town. You're serious about this? Well, it could very well be in my head. Don't take me too seriously. I'm sure I'll feel better after some sleuthing. Oh, okay. Don't tell Maimi about this, okay? I don't want her to get worried. If you find out anything about this, let me know. And thanks for letting me stay here. Well, apparently I had no say, but you're welcome. It's not a problem. Please just be careful to stay out of trouble. Yep. 
Yeah, hey, you're cool. actually a pretty nice guy. Thank you. You can know laughs, though. I'm still worried. All right, that soldier on. It's Friday. The meteorological department has officially declared the rainy season over. Yeah, summer is here, starting today. Let's go. It's summertime, man. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I want to live there. I love those little tinkle tinkle things. Morning. You're up earlier than usual. Same. Summer's my favorite season. My high school career is about to kick into full throttle. I thought you were always at full throttle. I can't imagine you any more exuberant. Ah, breakfast is ready for you right there. Anyway, I'm off to school. <gasps> Someone made me breakfast? Thank you. What? You made me breakfast? <laughs> you never do that. Is this a joke? Is there poison, is it? Poison in it? Well, I didn't. Yukino made it. But the lettuce is all me, though. <laughs> I cut the lettuce. Uh, it counts. I'll give you that. Lettuce for breakfast. Okay. Hey, wait. What about Yukino? Where is she? She left a long time ago. She said she was going to Mihate Forest to take photos. Ooh. Can I go there? Anything else? You all good? Okay, bye. Okay, cool, bye. She's all over the place in the morning like always. The aroma of coffee fills the room. Salad, scrambled eggs and sausage are on the table and breads by the toaster. That's a very West End breakfast. I haven't had a breakfast like this since I left home. Thanks for the food. Itadakimasu! The results of the midterm exams are posted in the hallway today. Ooh. Kensuke and I maneuver through the crowd to get closer to the notice board. Alright, excuse us, coming through, scooch. Oh, no way. Hmm? Ah, her record for consecutive wins remains unbroken. Really? Yep. Ever since she was a freshman, is that first grade? That's always been her spot. At the top of the juniors' rankings, the best out of our class of over 200 students, I see a familiar name. Miyu Amana. She must do nothing but study since she doesn't have any friends. That's just unnecessarily rude, sir. Oh, look there. 12th place, Maimi Kusunose. Oh, she finally dropped out of the top 10. She's always been way up there in her class. She doesn't even look like she studies. Look at the scores over here too. Come on, where's mine? We weave through the crowd together to look at the freshman's test results. First place, Saya Kamishiro. Wow, practically a perfect score. Yep. See how awesome the mystery club is now? Did Kaorin recruit these girls intentionally or was it a coincidence? Yes. You'll probably find me faster if you start looking from the bottom though. I see, guess it's just coincidence then. <laughs> Excuse you. What's your ranking, Kensuke? Kikuna! Don't ask. Some things in this world are better left unknown. <laughs> Wait, where am I? It didn't tell me my rank. With summer vacation coming up, classes end before noon. Leaving school with the sun so high is a fresh experience. I see a black car parked by the school gate. The car belongs to the Kamishiro family. Gokigenyo. Good day. You always go home immediately after class. You should spend some time with your classmates. Socialize. No. I'm not interested, say. You're an odd one. Have a nice day. Um, I could say the exact same thing to you. You're really smart, Saya. Yes? Oh, the tests. They're very simple as long as you study. In my opinion, there are just too many slackers. You know, it's good to walk every once in a while. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry? You're always taking the car. I'm busy. I'm just keeping travel time to a minimum. Sorry, Goodbye. 
Sophia hurries away towards the car. All right, that was a strange exchange. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love this town. As afternoon approaches, the temperature starts to rise. Walking by itself is enough to make me work up a sweat. With the sudden arrival of summer, the cries of cicadas have begun to echo throughout the town. Where I lived, the cries of the cicadas during summer were just so loud because I was way out in the countryside. It was just all you could hear. It was like actually deafening sometimes. Certainly brings back a, a summer feel whenever I hear them. Uh, Sazanami Street is busy as usual. Even on a weekday, it's a lively area for a modest town like this. Ah, it's so quaint. I love it. In the middle of it all, one particular ice cream shop has a long line in front of it. Its large sign jumps out at me. Summer Select Special Mint Chocolate. <gasps> yes, I will have some. Chocolate mint. That sounds good. It does. Can I get two chocolate mints, please? A chocolate mint for me too, in a cone. The chocolate mint is a huge hit. The ice cream looks enticing in this heat. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll get in line for it. You should. I spot a girl in thick glasses pacing back and forth in front of the ice cream shop. What's she up to, I wonder? Oh, hello. Wait, she was on the title screen. Who are you? She passes the store, stops and turns around. She's got the geek glasses. She walks past it again, then stops and turns around. She looks at the shop again. Ma'am, are you okay? And slips into the end of the line. She continues to look around herself while waiting in line. She holds her glasses close to her face with one hand, breathing deeply while she reads the menu in her other hand. Just watching her makes me feel nervous. The girl in glasses finally gets to the counter. Um, ah. Uh. I ch choc chocolate one. Her voice is so soft I can't make out what she's saying. One chocolate mint coming right up. Hi, yes. The shop staff's great hearing saves the day. She goggles restlessly while waiting for her chocolate mint ice cream to arrive. What does that mean? She timidly reaches for the ice cream when the clerk. Clark hands it to her, but she quickly pulls her hand back and starts to dig inside her small tote bag. Uh, uh, huh? What's wrong? She continues to root through the bag. Looks like she forgot her wallet. <gasps> we should pay for her. I have to talk to her. I can't bear to watch this any longer, so I approach her. Hey, did you forget your wallet? Huh? Uh, um, yes. I look at the scoop jockey. What the heck? It's 300 yen, right? Well, that's not bad. I take out a 500 yen coin from my own wallet and hand it to the server. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. So sorry. Thank you. She steps back a little and bows deeply to me several times. Oh, don't drop your ice cream. Her glasses are about to fall off and she holds them in place with a finger. Ma'am, do you need help? I'll see. See to it, my debt is to you is repaid. Indeed. Huh? Indeed. Here's your change, 200 yen. Thanks. I take the change and put it in my wallet then address the girl again. Hey, I haven't seen you around here. Do you live near? And she's gone. Well. That was interesting. Fascinating. I'm sure we will see her again soon. Pastiche Cafe. Oh, so your name is... I missed it. I pressed the button accidentally. Whoops. Hey, Yamato, you think you can stop ogling her so much there? Ah, oh, Yukino. Oh, stop it, Maimi. You're ruining my straight-laced reputation. Hey, you stop hitting on my lady. Mihate Town's a really nice place. I walked through the woods this morning. It felt so good. I want to visit the woods. Look at all these beautiful people. Oh, but the bridge way in the deep part of the forest was so high up. I was actually shocked to see it. There's been a lot of accidents there recently. You should be careful going in there. 
If you'd told me you were going, I would have been your bodyguard. Despite my looks, I'm a master of self-defense. Excuse me, sir. Step off. Step off. Are you? That's really impressive. Uh-oh, they're flirting. I'm losing her. <laughs> well, I guess. Things just got weird again. Brother, you have an order. Oh, not now, not now. I'm explaining the menu to our new guest. Oh, Yamato. Your devotion to good service is so admirable. Service is a term that can be applied in many ways. And I'm good at all of them. Oh, he is so smooth. He's like a butter stick. What are you talking about? <laughs> Brother. Ah, fine, I get it. Anyway, I'll be over there, so call me if you need anything. No, we don't. But maybe we do. Hey, Yamato's a really sociable guy. This cafe is so comfortable. I might find myself coming here more often. Oh no, we're losing her. Well, it's kind of like our hangout, sp hangout spot too. Um, where's Saya? Oh, she can't make it today. She said she needs to help with household stuff. Alright. Household stuff, huh? She looks selfish, but she helps her mum out with chores. <laughs> Not that kind of household stuff. When she says it, she means she's helping with Kamishiro Do's business. ne. And just so you know, Saya doesn't have a mother. Oh. Okay, sorry. Her mum died a while back. My bad. What? I think she passed away a while after Saya was born. Saya says she doesn't remember much of her either. Her father, Toichiro, was a famous playboy when he was younger. I think Saya's mom was his second wife too. Hmm. Yamato, there's a customer waiting for you. So Saya and Mibu have different mothers. Hmm. Gossip. Their father divorced Mibu's mother, so that would be the case. Naruhodone? I see. So Nanda. She writes something down. Why are you taking notes? Yukino's a writer. She wants to be a non-fiction author in the future. I'm making a habit of taking notes when I hear something interesting. That is a very good habit if you are a writer. Was what I said that interesting? It could be. It very well could be. Brother. Work. Whoop. I gotta go before Miu yells at me. See you later, Yukino. Dama. I really wanted to introduce Yukino to Saya, but that girl's pretty territorial too. Oh. Why do you need to introduce her to Saya? It's not like she's gonna join the mystery club or any. Th mm, 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 mm. She's not even a student. How can she join a school club? Things are getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're zooming in. What is happening? <laughs> Irasha. Hi there. Yamato. Oh, look at these handsome fellas. Yamato, can you make me a coffee to go? Oh, I'd love a coffee to go. Ah, speak of the devil. Jeez, I have so much to do. I don't even have time to sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee. You're busy as always, I see. Miu, one coffee to go. Take out to Hi. Wait, they know each other? Long time no see. Nani? Huh? Hmm? Oh, you're. Do you remember me? Yukino Otonashi. I interviewed you a while ago. Oh, I see. Oh, that was a while back. Of course I remember you. You said you were working on an article for a magazine. Hi. Kamishiro Do buys so many ads in Spring Magazine, the editor-in-chief editor told me to go say hi. <laughs> well, you did ask me some pretty tough questions about the Yomibito legend. Tell me about it. I didn't know they knew each other. Apparently they do. Apparently everybody here knows everybody. 
Thank you for all your cooperation back then. I was wondering when it would come out, but I've been hearing good things about that article. Great job. It's all thanks to your help. I thought you'd have forgotten about me. Don't be ridiculous. How could such a beautiful face disappear from anyone's memory? Oh, now Mibu's moving in. No. No. Here you go, Mibu. Here's your coffee. Ah, oh, sorry. Put it on my tab. Well then, you can... Kids. Pardon me. He just called me a kid. Mibu leaves the cafe in a hurry. Hey, I didn't know you and Mibu knew each other. Yes, he was very kind. You're something else, Yukino. You have this strong, seductive vibe. This is your true form. Your nature. That's a really weird thing to say, Maimi. <laughs> Yukino Otonashi. Femme fatale. What? Yeah. Things just got really weird. Alright, Wednesday, 24th. Another long line has formed at the ice cream shop. Are we going to see that girl again? Ice cream sounds fantastic on this hot, sunny midsummer day. Oh, I wish. Not to mention that I missed my chance to buy my own the other day. There she is. Um, should I buy ice cream today? I could try to get that mint chocolate that seemed so popular last time. Um, but I don't know if it's a good idea to get in that long line in this extreme heat. Just do it. Oh. Excuse me. I can't help but take a step back at that voice. You scared me. You didn't have to yell. You could have just told me you were there. I did. No, you didn't. Thank you for the other day. Oh, um, it's alright. I have money today. Please let me treat you to a chocolate mint. Sure. Chocolate mint? You wait right here. Yes, indeed. The bespectacled girl jogs away awkwardly and joins the end of the line. Here. I end up waiting for the glasses girl in this sweltering heat. A while later, she brings over two chocolate mint ice creams and hands me one. Thank you. Are you sure about this, though? This is nothing. I mean, yes. Well, then, I accept your kind offer. Dozo. Oh, this is good. Desione. Right. Yeah, so you like ice cream, huh? Yes. Hey, why don't we sit on those stairs over there instead of standing here? Ah. Uh, and then we can see the ocean while we eat too. Ah, oh, it's the summer dream. I point to a stairway leading down to the beach. This place has nice views. Oh, I forgot I haven't gotten your name. What's your... She's gone. Well, she's certainly intriguing. All right, we've been at this for about an hour. Let's leave it there. All right, we are proceeding. We are getting there. We, we've got a new character. I remember her from the title screen. I don't know what her name is. We haven't gotten it yet. Yukino came back, finally. I haven't seen her since the train. She's staying in our house. I'm not going to question it. We're getting... Fed slowly little bits of the Yomibito legend. I'm excited. I want to find out more about it. Oh, and we went on the, the drive with the police officer in her cool sports car. I like her. I'm really enjoying this so far. I can I'm, I'm interested in what's going to happen. I want to find out more. We've obviously been going through a lot of the, the slow build-up of getting daily life in the town before I assume just everything goes to hell. I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait. Anyway. That's the end of this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Come back again next week. We're going to find out more. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you later. See ya.